This week on The Wire, prices up 2.2% in May, property listings continue to drop, and 15% rise in prices forecast. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate. We can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Kicking it off with our top story for this week, prices are up 2.2% in May. So property prices grew more than 2% in May and most markets across the nation have increased at 10% or more so far in 2021. Now the latest monthly price report from CoreLogic indicates that dwelling prices rose 2.2% nationally in May with houses up 2.4% and units up 1.5%. Now in the first five months of 2021, the national average is an 11.3% rise in house prices and a 6.2% increase for units. Now four capital cities and four state regional markets have grown more than 10% in the year to date. That's led by Sydney, which has been up 15%, regional Tasmania, which is up 12%, and regional New South Wales also up 12%. Now in May, according to CoreLogic, 12 of the 15 market jurisdictions, that's eight capital cities and several regional areas, lifted their house prices by at least 1.5%. Led by Sydney at 3.5%, regional Northern Territory 3.1%, and Hobart 2.5%. Now there are also some good growth in unit markets with all market jurisdictions except regional WA delivering increases in May. That's led by Hobart up 5.2% and Darwin up 4.9%. Now in annual terms, unit price growth is headed by Darwin 18%, uh, Hobart 17%, Regional Victoria 15% and New South Wales 13%. All right guys, and moving on to our next story, property listings continue to drop. So property listings nationwide dropped 6.3% in May compared to April, and an old stock has been cleared nationwide as a number of buyers outstrip sellers. Now figures released this week by SQM Research indicate the largest monthly falls in listings were in Canberra, Melbourne, Brisbane, Adelaide, and throughout regional Australia as stock levels trend downwards. Now in annual terms, listings fell 19% across the nation, which SQM Research Managing Director Louis Christopher says is putting upward pressure on prices. Now, a sign that older stock is clearing, listings over 180 days dropped 9.2% in May and are down 44% over the year, with falls recorded in all capital cities, and in particular, in the smaller capital cities. Now, Christopher says property listings fell in May due to strong market conditions. We've also seen a big fall in old listings, indicating old stock is getting moved. This suggests strong absorption rates, so new listings are not completely offsetting the falls in old listings. And now, guys, moving on to our final story of the week. So 15% rise in prices are forecast. So house prices will rise 15% by the end of the year before slowing to more moderate growth in 2022, and that's from the Westpac Housing Pulse report, I should say. Now the forecast appears conservative given that prices have increased 11.3% in the first five months of the year, and that comes from CoreLogic. Now Westpac quarterly report says capital city markets are in a fully fledged broad-based boom. Senior economist Matthew Hassan says all aspects of the market are showing strength, with turnover 30% above the national pre-pandemic peak. Now Hassan says everyone out there is looking for any hint of a moderation to this boom. So far there is nothing really that convince, that's convincing. Auction clearance rates have come off slightly but are still running at around 80%. Now Hassan says strong price gains are happening in all cities, setting it apart from other housing booms. As an example, in previous price rises, two to three cities propelled the gains each time, he says. One cycle was Sydney and Melbourne, and the other cycle before that was the mining states. Now that's not just happening now because all cities are booming. Well guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now please don't forget to like, comment, share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Thanks a lot, and have a great weekend, and don't forget, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Bye for now.